YouTubers. Today is the second. Uh, it's 7.05. Um, we're in a little bit late. I'm not bothered really. Um, our first drop is Stoke today. We'll get that 824, 825. Uh, tired. Can't really be bothered. I've just noticed something on the side of the truck, well, on the, oh, on the door jam anyway. When I was, uh, one of, a, video, a couple of videos ago, I named a video like, Leyland Daft Sucks. And there's a few comments saying, Leyland don't exist anymore. Right. Right. That's what I thought. But on the door jam, it says Leyland Trucks. And I'll, I'll show you later. So the boss still exist. So I'm just going to nip home first before we start the journey. Um, reason being is I've uh, left my bed in there, my dinner there. Go around the roundabout, third exit, Nailstrop Road North, then bear right, Barlow Road. So there's not much art really looking at in the back of the truck. It's about an average amount, it's a slightly under average amount. Heading down to Northampton, well, Wellingborough, I think is the furthest destination. Now, what I did end up washing the truck on Friday, on the last video, uh, I got back and there was hardly any wind when, when we got back to the yard, so I washed it and it's still clean now, even that, it's been cleaned again. I'm not sure, but I've left the, uh, the uh, glass cleaner is still there and the, um, the wipes are still there and the mirrors are still filthy, so they've not definitely been cleaned. Oh, so they could have been, it just uh, could have been like uh, overspray from the jet wash, you know what I mean? 300 yards, turn right, Gordon Road. So I've got the night heat on at the moment, what, keeping me warm until um, the engine heat kicks in. Turn right. Side. It's been like that for about 10 miles. I've not seen an accident or anything, I think it's just one of those strange random things where motorways just come to a stop for no particular reason and then they clear up again. But uh, I'm glad I'm not stuck on that side. Uh, windy again today. Um, I've not had a weather warning on my phone, but the radio keeps saying it's really windy. Well, I'm still on the other side. It's probably been about another four miles. It cleared up a little bit and then it's uh, stopped again. Happy Tuesday. Five past eight. Well, here. First drop. <sighs> Traffic wasn't so not so great around this area. Just gonna punch in the next address and then um, which is Walsall, then after that it's Coventry. Well we're done, but I wanna go that way. So I'm just gonna turn around in this uh, 
whatever it is there, this yard. So we're here, and it is a home address, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Turn right, then turn left. Uh, we'll be here in a minute anyway. Landywood train station there. I do love the M6 toll road. It's always empty. And you're never stuck behind somebody that's really, really old going way too slow than they should be doing. And then having to go around them. But five minutes later, they overtake you and slow down again. But it's not just old people that do that, I suppose. It's a lot of people that do that. But it's great on here, straight through. 20 miles of no traffic, I love it. done, Coventry. Now we're just heading south of uh, something up on Avon, I think. I don't know what it said, that's. Well, yeah, it's about 45 minutes away. Uh, uh. into now but it's this new brand new hours in the state even though I've got this house in state on my uh, on my list on my sat nav so it would give me a quick postcode I got straight there go around the roundabout fourth exit Camden Road then turn left go around the roundabout fourth exit then Turn left. Right. Follow Pepsi in my face. Right, so I'm going to try this one first. It's probably a, a semi finished house. I'm just going to stop here and put the road name in. So this postcode. Piss off, bottle code. Right, okay, so I've got in touch with the customer and um, after 80 there, years, there, they've turn got a cottage left, and their cottage is the road, same name as this estate. Turn left. So, my bad on that one, but can't really blame me for uh, thinking that because that's often what happens. People will uh, give you a postcode very close to where it is on these new estates. So, I'll be there After in a minute. After 50 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit, Camden Road, then turn have reached your destination. Unsuitable for HGVs. Turn left, then you have reached your destination. For sale if anyone wants to buy it. That's probably the 
the one next door. You've reached your destination. Unsuitable for HGVs. Turn left, then you have reached your destination. Well, sir, if anyone wants to buy it. Probably the one next door. Well, that was different. I just stopped for uh, <coughs> some milk and some water. A new sticky pad on that. And um, I think you've got some crisps or something. And uh, it comes to like £2.50 or something like that. And uh, I've no cash on me, just uh, my card. So she said, no, you need to spend more than, you need to spend £5 or more. Otherwise I can't serve you, snooty cow. So I put it, well, yeah, I put it back. I don't want to spend five pounds. I want to spend two pound fifty, which is where it got to. So, just ridiculous that Try making you pay an extra two pound fifty for things you don't want. No. Oh, this is where I took a break the other day, just here. This is going to the address I went to go to the other day, but. Um, Cos wasn't Cosgrave available for, for it. Three miles. Okay, so I'm really running out of uh, time now for before I need a break and driving time. I've just went to pull it out of garage there, petrol station, and it's a, a 3.5 meter canopy. Never going to fit under that. Um, there's no place to park near it. This road doesn't seem to have play bys at all. Um, I was putting my hopes on that garage to be honest, but not to be. So the next tiniest little gap I see that's not mud, I'm going to have to stop on it. This is not a lay by, but I'm having it. Very fine. One minute and six minutes. That's all they had left. One minute working time and six minutes uh, driving time. A bit too close for comfort that. I normally don't like it to leave it that long. Uh, middle of nowhere. After 400 yards, you have reached your destination. Apparently. This could be it. Yeah. I think this is it. Yeah. Or is it? You have reached your destination. Right, found it. Behind us. Well. That's a really nice lady there. Woman, lady, some people don't like the word lady, but she's a very nice person. Uh, she wasn't very well, but she's just getting over her chest in. The health advisory body nine. She just getting over a chest infection, but um, she still did it. Four heavy tops. So well done to her for that. Right, we're off. I have to see the wizard. Right there, you have Jim. Uh, oh, spelt it wrong. Well, wrong WK. Okay. Warehouse, the other one. Yeah, and uh, just gave me a lovely drink of lemon. Never seen that one before. All natural sparkling lemon beverage. Right, so Wellingborough, how far is that? I'll give the warehouse manager a ring to let him know I'm on the way. Way here. I'm going to have to go and 
down here and turn around, I think. Hold on, heading the right way. Come on, kick down. So two uh, two trucks have just gone past them. Uh, one beeped and went past, and the other one beeped and waved. Didn't see either. Were don't know them, but um, at your destination at fourteen forty-seven. Either recognise the, the truck off YouTube or from one of our other branches. You have reached your destination. I have reached my destination. <coughs> Three forty. So the next after here, I think is Nottingham. I think it's Not Nottingham. You have reached your destination. Continues to batter the highlands. It's 11 currently round and about tonight. Very windy across Northern Ireland, Northern England, and North Wales. There'll be more rain and hill snow across Scotland, which will slowly move southwards as the night goes on. So now you're up to date on that. Uh, can you say congratulations, please, Steve, to my son Josh Scooter for passing his CPC in transport management? Uh, his mum and dad are very proud of him. Thank you very much. And uh, another one about. Oh, well done. You passed your CPC in transport management. Oh, the shit, so I knew when something goes wrong, mate. Ha ha. Shouldn't say that really, but it is. So, welcome to Leicester. I know I said Nottingham, but I'm a bit dense. About to drop off, home address. It's just around the corner from here, looking at the map. After two weeks. I never did go and get uh, a cup of tea. I didn't see a service station or a shop. But I will be getting one after this drop. You're going to the 1500 Wyndham Road lay by. No. I swear that guy looked like Montgomery Burns. Right, so this next one will be closed by the time we get there. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, let's just double check. This is a. Uh, Bell well, Nottingham. Well, in time, two hours, we've got that. two and a half hours left on that. 40 minutes, five thirty, no, no, 40 miles. An hour and 20 minutes. Well, let's just head that way. You will arrive at your destination at 17.33. Just gonna end. Strap on done. It's not done, it's just not the way I like it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to head there. In fact, I might Google it just to see what time it does actually close. Just Googled it and it closes at 5 30. Oh, sorry, 5 o'clock. So, definitely won't get there. I can't see shit. Well, I'm going to stop here. Finally, some services. I'm going to sit there for about an hour and a half and let all this traffic go away.
got this car transport has just come in. One there, just gone past. And one, two, three over there. They're all the same company. Probably British car. I think that one says BCA on it, which is British car auctions. Brand new cars, aren't they? New enough, new. OEX Fleet. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you this earlier on because everyone says, uh, and I, even I, I, even I thought uh, Leyland trucks were extinct, but apparently they're not. I was quite surprised at that myself, really. So, found my French press. That's what it's called. I'm not a vet. No idea. That thing there, anyway. I thought I'd left it home. So, I'm going to have a nice cup of coffee. Uh, no coffee mate in it, because the coffee mate's going a bit clumpy, so I'll just, I'll just put milk in it, I'm not bothered. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have this cup of tea now, a uh, cup of coffee even. Um, uh, let the traffic die down, it's five o'clock now, so rush hour's just kicked off really. So, about half past five. Uh, it's about, about half past six, I'll, I'll go and find somewhere to sleep. I'll look on uh, parking.com, I think it's parking.com, or hgvparking.com. I'll look on one of those and uh, find somewhere that's uh, suitable to park. And that's me for the day, and back on tomorrow. Oh, a bit achy today. I think I'm just in a moany mood, I think. Let's give that a second. Not a bad guess. Oh, it smells nice. Admit it, you want a coffee now? Go on, go make yourself one. Press pause. I think I'll let that brew. Okay, so this is the Travis Perkins I went to the other day. I'm not sure if I got this one on camera turn the other day left, because then turn right. Um, I think I deleted the files by accident. But um, yeah, I know which way to go in this time. I think I went in the wrong way. No, I didn't delete it actually. It was on the last video. I went in the wrong entrance. Um, so I think there's a place outside the camp park, which I'm going to do. So then the traffic lights then, I just went, they had temporary lights up and I sailed straight After past the lights yards, and went to the white line right, as normal and then I thought, oh I can't then see the traffic lights, lights right. anymore. So luckily I could see the reflection of a, a street sign. So I didn't turn hold right, anybody up. Then but the car at the side right. did exactly the same as well, it's just automatic, you go up to the line don't you? This is where I'm parking for the night. Dodgy, dingy place. What's that there? Supermarket. Morrison's. I don't really want to block Morrison's. What's. I think I'll just do here on the left. 